What's going on money lovers? Welcome back. So today we're talking about an exciting new company called Beyond Spring and their stock has rocketed up 200% in the last couple days here. Went down a little bit today. So today we're going to be talking about exactly what it is Beyond Spring does, why the stock is skyrocketing and take a look at some more information about the company and their financials. So this is a company that is developing innovative immuno oncology cancer therapies with a robust pipeline from internal development and collaboration with the University of Washington. Their lead asset, which we're gonna discuss in a minute, Planobulin, is in two phase three global clinical trials as a direct anti-cancer agent in the treatment of non-small cell lung cancer and the prevention of chemotherapy-induced neutropenia. So this is a company that is working to cure cancer. Planobulin is a small molecule under development by Beyond Spring Pharmaceuticals and is in worldwide phase three clinical trials for non-small cell lung cancer. Planobulin is being investigated for the reduction of chemotherapy-induced neutropenia, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, which is a normally low concentration of neutrophilus in the blood. Uh, it serves as the primary defense against infections by destroying bacteria. So this is something that chemotherapy can reduce. So planobulin can help boost those levels up back up and for its anti-cancer effects in combination with immune checkpoint inhibitors. So I'm gonna pull some information right from their planobulin R&D day and then we'll get into the financials and what I think of this company. This is a biotechnology company. So I'll preface it by saying you gotta be very careful. The odds are stacked against biotech companies, right? They, maybe they have a five, 10% chance of success, but many biotechnology companies, the problem is even if they can find something successful, they're just burning through so much money in R&D for so many years before they can actually you know, make money off of selling these, these drugs and products. It just is such a long process. So that can bankrupt many biotech companies. So be very careful here. This is definitely a speculative type company. As we can see here, they have two near-term NDAs and robust drug development pipeline. So they've got the two phase three trials for planobulin, and they've got some other ongoing trials that are ranging in the preclinical to phase one and phase two, as you can see. Now, I talked a lot about these different phases of trials in my mind medicine videos. You can check those out on the channel. It's very difficult. It is a very small percentage of companies that, or of products and drugs that make it from preclinical all the way to commercial status. It's very difficult to get through these phases. So even though they pass phase one, they even can pass phase, phase two, phase three, it gets harder with each phase and at any moment it can fail. There's no guarantee that it ever sees commercial use. Keep that in mind. Now here's a little roadmap of how the planobulin works. As you can see here, it goes through this process here where it eventually kills cancer cells. Now if we take a look at the their financials real quick, here's their annual report. So as of December 31st, 2020, they had total assets of 117 million, but where's the revenue? It doesn't exist yet. Total current assets is 117 million, and total liabilities of 117 million. I like to see the ratio a little bit better than that, but more alarming, where's the revenue? There is none. And this is, you know, commonplace for biotech companies, as I said, years and years of research and development, um, burning through lots of money without having any revenue, obviously, until these, these uh, products come to market. So as you can see here, here's our consolidated statements of comprehensive loss. And if we go down to the total here, they are losing $61 million. And in 2019, they lost 37 million. So each year they're losing, they're burning through tons of money. So again, I really hope that this does make it through, but it is a long shot and they're not gonna be profitable for a long time. So just keep that in mind. If you do decide to invest in companies like this and biotech in general, I would be interested to see now, since this company is getting notoriety, if uh, someone like ARC Invest adds it to their portfolio, maybe in the ARC-G, the ARC Genomics Revolution portfolio. So it's definitely an interesting company to keep tabs on and I'm adding it to my watch list. I will not be purchasing it right now. This stock is gonna be very volatile. You know, it's gonna, nothing goes up this fast without coming back down or it's gonna be all over the place. So definitely be very careful and see what you think. And if you're interested in a deeper analysis, let me know in the comments below and I'll really uh, take a deep dive. And if you enjoyed the video today, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. This is Vinny from The Investment Club and I'll see you next time.